Now, for those of you listening from all over the world, be careful what we do now, because this is for the first time ever that we present a brand new product family, a product system, um, a new philosophy to automate your machine. Felix, I think both of us are picked because we are tall, yeah. so uh, we can uh, put the curtain down. Hans, do we do three, two, one? One, three, two, one. Okay, we have a lift off, yeah. Yes, <laughs> we <have> here we <laughs> go. <laughs> and, and, uh, Wow, may I introduce to you the new MX system. MX, you see the uh, writing on the, on the top. Uh, MX means modular and X means the variation, the variability in the system. And what it's all about, it's about replacing the traditional cabinet by our new complete control system. On the left side, you see a traditional cabinet a lot of you will know how about the different uh, functional areas of the cabinet, so power infeed, power supply, power distribution, drives, I.O., intelligent, the PC. All these components are part of a cabinet and are manually wired to each other. So this is the traditional way cabinets are built since the last hundred years or maybe even longer. And, um, and, and all these components inside a cabinet talk to each other, in the, by the way of EtherCAT, for instance. And, uh, but, but they are, all have completely different form factors. And uh, we think with our MX system, we can now shrink the whole traditional cabinet you see on the left side into this form factor. Indeed, we have the same functionality inside this MX uh, system which we have in this much taller cabinet on the left side. <laughs> For me, it looks incredibly simple. There is a back plane, yeah. a base plate, like we say, and we have modules we plug in. Mm -hmm. So it's somehow something we all know and we can do. So what is the revolution of the system when it's so simple? Or is this exactly the revolution? Yeah, it, it, it is part of the revolution, and it's mm. uh, really the unification of all different aspects of automation. So the drive and I.O. technology are part of it, but also safety is a, mm -hmm. always a very special thing, the yellow technology inside the cabinet. This is integrated into the whole system. Uh, and also fusing, for instance, so for um, the reduction of the uh, wire diameter uh, is also integrated, so the fusion functionality inside uh, the system. So these are important points. And uh, if you have a look at the, at the base plate over here, you see a one-row base plate, two-row base plate, a three-row will also be available, also three sizes. And we can now yeah, uh, build a cabinet, so which normally takes, let's say, a day or two days, is now happening in a few seconds. First, we take out of the warehouse uh, the infeed, the power infeed with the main switch. I forgot the Holland. hex key, so maybe I will we, hold it. We, we, once again, <laughs> we do not have the screwdriver. Yeah. Well, we have a screwdriver. <laughs> we have, let me just, I will get a screwdriver. It's a normal screwdriver, okay? See how just fast the holes. I think we just take yeah. one so or two screws. You, you also built some cabinets by yourself in yes. your life, yeah, okay, I, yeah. I, I started my business career <laughs> also in a shop floor, a shop and I established cabinets. Same with me, so I'm, I know how cabinet is looking. So and here we go. It. So here we did this. So this was the power in feed. Then some intelligence to the left. I will just also take a screw in the bottom here that nothing falls down. Here we go. Oh, this is cool because this is my IPC. Yeah. So it's, it's very rock solid. So you see if we have eight screws for this and we have a lot. It's, it's IP67, by the way. So it's... Okay, um, safe enough. It's, uh, and then some I.O. I would expect. And then or? some... Yeah, yeah I know. Well, first a drive. First. A drive. You need two, two drives. So two channel okay. drive. And then maybe we're going for a little bit of... Uh, uh, All right, this is safe. And this one, take this one. Oh. It's okay, yeah. Now we put on this it one does, here. It doesn't yeah. matter where I put it? It doesn't matter, no. E each slot is uh, automatically uh, uh, checked by the software. It's for sure compatible maybe to TwinCAD. A safe model or...? Yeah, safety model can be... Go and we can do, uh, build in... Uh, uh, Low voltage drive, so 48 volt drive. Well, this is a complete machine now. This is a complete, yeah. It turns out that, and we you need some safety input. 
This is what happens when you work with your boss. He keeps you busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we are. <laughs> here so we you, I think you can imagine the rest. So we now have the functionality of PC. Power in feed up to 63 amps are possible with integrated power supply for the 24 volts and with integrated uh, energy measurement and so on. And UL compatible, so with UL fuses inside. So we, a lot of things have been uh, taken into consideration. Then a two axis drive, a small drive uh, with, for 48 volts and some digital IO and some safety input. The work is done. So it took us five minutes. <laughs> In reality, it will take a little bit longer, but it replaces this cabinet. And this is the revolution. So we, because a lot of advantages are now really combined with this technology. You can imagine, it starts with engineering. Yes, and I remember when I did my wiring, I always mistake cable 15 and 16, mm -hmm. because these are numbers you like to mix and match all the time. No. This is done. We don't need this anymore on the wiring. It saves incredible time. It incurs the secureness of the installation. I think it's really easy. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it starts with the engineering. So customers, we had a, 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 some leading customers who worked together with us in the development of the system. And they described us that maybe the 300-page uh, circuit diagram and maybe reduced to 30 pages, so to a tenth, or maybe even to a smaller number. And the amount of engineering hours may be reduced from three days to, yeah, let's say one day, or from yeah. two. So it's, a, um, it's really an amazing reduction. The cabinet building, as you said, it's no single wire anymore, which has to be connected anywhere. Uh, so it's, it's, it, it reduces a lot of effort uh, of work. It improves the quality because no error is possible anymore. Yeah. The size is smaller as the normal cabinet, and, and the cabinet now can be put directly on the machine body, so you de do not need an individual cabinet housing anymore. Um, if you go for, on the installation for the machine, so it will be much faster because it can now be done by standard mechanical technicians on the machine if you're going with prefabricated cables. Uh, so no electrician is needed anymore. And uh, if you, and finally, in the um, operation at, by the end customer, it's, uh, it's a new level of maintenance quality because uh, the models have to be checked and tested and the cable has to be tested and the device, for instance, the motor has to be tested or checked. And that's it. So nobody, no special electrical uh, engineer has to come open the cabinet and measure with the digital voltmeter. Yeah. It's simply all in the system, all diagnosis is there. So I think it's a big step forward also in operating the machines. And last point, it's even reusable. So there are machine builders who are building every eight year a machine for a customer. So we, we build it very ruggedized, very stable. Um, it can really live in a harsh environment and it has a long lifetime and this means even after eight years if the old machine is not used anymore it can be reused for a new cabinet.